Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be covering the gruesome skinless man. He made his first full appearance in Uncanny X-Force, issue number 21, that was released in February of 2012. His real name is Harry Pizer, also going by the alias Weapon 3. With him having a somewhat variable height and weight while having red eyes and no hair, basically because he has no skin either, since it was removed to reveal nothing but his muscle tissue. Now, Harry started off as a mutant who had the primary ability to manipulate his multi-sensory skin on a molecular level, giving it an extremely high degree of elasticity, basically making him a low-level shapeshifter. Now, after his skin was removed, he actually had the determination to teach his muscle tissue to do the exact same thing. This also showing that he likely has the ability to dampen his pain reception. Now, after he was augmented by the Weapon Plus program, his natural mutant ability was boosted and his strength and durability were boosted to low level superhuman levels. Now, we first see Harry as a barrister or attorney during the Cold War. He was extremely good at his job, and his mutant power allowed him to find a comfortable place within espionage. But his gleaming track record would draw the attention of an American named The Professor, not Charles, who happened to offer him a position in the Weapon Plus program. This is when his abilities would be augmented and he'd take on the code name Weapon 3, going on to gather tons of intelligence from Soviet soldiers and having no problem with taking them out along the way. But one day he was instructed to get a relic called the Orb of Necromancy, butchering his way through Otherworld in his quest to get it. However, there were some forces within Weapon Plus who didn't want him to get the Orb, and therefore sent the anti-hero Phantom X to go stop him. The skinless man would be shot by Phantom X and left for dead, although he would be found still alive by the Captain Britain Corps, who then removed his skin as part of a punishment for all the men he had dispatched. Interestingly, Phantom X would later take this skin and use it to create sentient bullets that would never miss. But when Phantom X would be brought before the Britain Corps to face his crimes, Skinless Man would learn what Phantom X had done with his skin and would then begin training his muscle tissue to do what his skin used to be able to do, all in a bid for revenge. So although Psylocke would help Phantom X escape his sentence, the Skinless Man would be right there to ambush them before he could fully escape with the disgruntled mutant actually cutting off Phantom X's face as revenge for him losing his skin. The skinless man would later be recruited into the new Brotherhood of Evil Mutants, who all had personal vendettas against X-Force. This is when he would solidify his position as a villain, actually going as far as settling an old score by taking out his ex-wife and her new husband. He and his new team would eventually initiate their plan to take out X-Force and abduct a young apocalypse known as Evan Sabaneur, all so that they could raise him to be their own personal apocalypse and destroy the world. The ensuing conflict would bring the skinless man face to face with Phantom X again, but as fate would have it this time, the skinless man would be able to grab him and rip his heart out. However, the evil brotherhood had not secured the loyalty of young Evan, who then sought out revenge against the skinless man for killing Phantom X. And although the skinless man almost tricked Evan into a deal, the grotesque villain would immediately be dispatched by Deadpool after he sneakily destroyed Phantom X's heart before they could make a deal. Now, for his powers and abilities and his influence on the Marvel Universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give the skinless man a rating of 5, which is an enigmatic rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like, subscribe, and join the new Sage.